So good morning learners, uh, welcome to today's math lesson, the 19th of August 2020. Now in this lesson we are going to look at the division of our whole number by a decimal. Division of our whole number by a decimal. Remember in our previous lesson we did a uh, division of uh, a, 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 a decimal by our whole number. So in this case I'm going to give you examples. We'll give you examples to be able to understand exactly what we need in this exercise. Like 8 divided by 0 0.2. 8 is our whole number divided by 0 0.2. So learn from there. You put this over 1, that is 8 over 1 divided by 0 0.2. And now, in this case, this is to be made a fraction, which is 2 over. 1 decimal place meaning that is 2 over 10. So our x can be is 0 0.2 in a fraction form. It's simply 2 over 10. Because it means this number has been divided by 10. Because if you multiply by, by 10, it's going to give you 2. So in this case, after reaching there, you write now 8 over 1 times, give the simple of this, times 10 over 2. 10 over 2. From there, check vertically or even as Definitely, whether you can be able to see a number that you can divide with. Yes, there is a number here. This 2 and this 4. So divide by 2, you get 1. 8 divided by 2, you get 4. So 4 times 10, and you answer you get 2. And if there is 40, you get an answer 40. Let me do another one, Lana. Seven, uh, 1 that 5 divided by 1.5. 1 that 5 divided by 1.5. 1 that 5 divided by 1.5. Let me just mention something here before I continue. The other learners who cannot be able to do it, remember my reciprocal course. But these learners can be able to do it in another way. So instead of them using this type of division, a learner can write 8 divided by 0 0.2. And this line is right. So what they need to do is to multiply, to remove this decimal point. How do you remove this decimal point? By multiplying, if, if you want to remove a decimal point, like for example, you have 0 0.423. For you to make this our number, you only need to multiply with a number with three zeros for it to be, a, to be, to be our number. Let's see our number. Because whenever you are multiplying with zeros, the decimal point moves forward. So how many, how many times you, you want this decimal point to come here? How can it come there? Because we say, if you have a number 5, it's our whole number, the decimal point is always here. So you want to move this decimal point from this point to this point. How can you be able to do that? You can only be able to do that by multiplying with Zeros equal the number of decimal places in that particular decimal uh, number. So the decimal point number has one, two, three decimal places, meaning that you only multiply with a number with three zeros to be able to bring the decimal point to this end. So this one will bring it there, it comes from 4.23. This one brings it there. We now ignore this one because the decimal point has moved. It comes from 2.3. This one brings there, it comes 123. So the decimal point is at that point. So this has been done to be our whole number. If you have, for example, 0 0.6, you want to make 0 0.6 our whole number. You only count the number of decimal places. It's only one. So you multiply with one, 10. So this will come here. It becomes six points. So this point, six point, means that this is our whole number. So if I analyze this in an exam, and they want to perform it using this method, you only to ask yourself, what number can I multiply with this number, the one that has a decimal, to make it our number, it's 10. So whatever you do on the lower side, that is on the denominator, you must also do it on the numerator. So you also multiply here by 10. So in this case, if you multiply 8 by 10, you get 80. Over, remember this one has removed it to become, become 2. So this is 2. So what is 8 over 2? It's simply 40. So you can either do it using this method or this method of the reciprocal or this one of 
of a, of a, of a, of a division, changing the division of that number. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that because sometimes learners have their own ways of bringing a person and they are right. So that was another method. So you can simply write this using the other type of division. Remember learners division, there are two types of division. Either this one or this slash. This means this line means division. If you have a number here, one and then two. This means one over two. Over means this line means division. So if you want, if you want, don't want to use this division, you can use this in, especially for decimals and fractions. You can simply use this type of division. Let me move my, to, to my second uh, example. That is seven by by zero. Sorry. 100 divided by 2.5. 100 divided by 2.5. So I'm going to use both methods. So my method number one is I say we take this 100 over 1, divide, divide by, this is 2.5, make it a fraction, it is 25 over this one decimal, over 10. I don't know whether that you'll see, over 10. Then from there, I will change it. This is 100 over 1, you don't change the first number, you change the second number. This becomes now 10 over 25. From there, what are you supposed to do? Check whether there are common divisors. Yes, but 25 to 1 here, but 25 4 times. 25 gets to 100 4 times. So 4 times 10 is going to give you 40. Let's use method number 2 and see whether it's correct. So this is going to be 100 over, we are using the other method, 2.5. So now, how do you move this decimal point? By multiplying by 10. If you multiply by 10, the decimal will come there and it will be 25. Here you also multiply by 10. Don't forget, if you multiply on one side, you also multiply on the other side. Numerator and denominator. So that 100 times 10, this gives you 1000. Over 2.5 times 10 is simply 25. Let's see. 25 gets into 100, you divide them like that. 4 times, and then you add this 0 here. So your answer is 40. Look at this and look at that learner, your answer is the same. So whatever method you use, either method one or two, you are simply going to get the answer correct. Let me give you the final example before I take you to another different thing. 324 and see 324 point, uh, sorry, divide by 0.08. 0 0.08. Method number one, this is 324 over 1 divided by, let's change this to a fraction, this is 8 over 1 to 100. 8 over 100. And therefore, the next thing is 324 over 1. Let's change the reciprocal of this to be 100 over 8. And we able to see that learner. This if you look at this number is 4 and this is 8, mean that there is a common divisor. So divide by 4, you get 2, divide by 4, 8 gets to that 2 4 times, and 4, 1. So it comes to 1. So in this case, you will have 4,100 over 2. By 2, 1. By 2, 2. So 4,200. Uh, Let's use the long division so that you understand what I'm doing. So 4 over 1, 100, divide by, by 2. 2 gets here 2 times, you get 4. 0, you add a 0 there and drop your 10. Add a 0. This will be 2, two, two 5. So 2 times 5, 10, 0, 1 at 0, and at 0. Because of 2 times 2, 4, you put a, 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 a sorry, put a 0 here. Put a 0 first, then 5, 10, then this 0 which remains here, you add it there. It becomes 2050, 2050 to give you. 4,100. So the answer becomes 2,050. 2,050. Let's take using the other method before I give you an assignment. The other method of course is going to be 
going to be it's going to be 324 over 0 0.08. So how do you move these decimal points? By modeling the number with equal number of bits as uh, uh, zeros here. So times 100 on both sides. And here you get 324 plus two zeros over this H now. Can see and be able to see that. So this is by can start by two. By two, four, by two, one, six, two, zero, zero. By two, two, by two, eight, one, zero, zero. Eight, one, zero, zero. Then divide by two here. By two, one, by two, four. Simply 324, sorry, 324, 00, divided by 8. Let me use the long Now this will give you 832, 4 times. You get that 2. You drop 4. You cannot divide, you add a 0. Drop your 0 there. How many times? 5. So this should be. You must have made a mistake on that side. By 8, 1 by 8, 4. But 1, divide by 2. Let's continue to see. You must have made a mistake somewhere. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is 2, 3, 2, 4. 4, that's 2. Zero. I must change it because this is 405. 405. 4, that's 2. 0, 5, 40. You get 40, 0, 0. Yeah, this is because 4050. So this must be a mistake here. There must be a mistake somewhere here. Let's check it very fast. So this is 324 over 1. Then divide by 8 over 100. So in that case, it becomes 324 over 1 times 100 over 8. By 4, 2. By 4, 25. Let's use that question. By two one, by two one six two. So one twenty six one sixty two one sixty two times twenty five. Zero by one that's that one that three eight four <coughs> two by one two three zero five zero four. So this is the right answer. Four thousand and fifty. So whichever method that you're going to use, either A or B, you're going to get the answer correct. So I don't want to leave you without work. I want to give you an assignment here. That is exercise 60. Exercise 60. Exercise 60. That is number one. Number one to pay. That is going to be found in page 82. 82. Now I'm sure that you do the work as explained, either using method one or two. Just choose one method and be able to do that work. So until next time, learner, I want to wish you well. Let us keep on doing the right thing. Ensure that you use a method to be able to do the work. God bless you.